No matter how well you design and implement your integration services package, there are way too many things that can go wrong at runtime. There can be problems with the data or bugs in your code, or some critical resource, a database server or a necessary file, might go missing, or any other kind of problem could occur. Some problems you can anticipate with careful thought, others are likely to be unexpected. You can minimize the problem, but a fact of life in software is that you have to have a plan B when things go wrong. Integration Services has a variety of tools and provides various techniques you can use to see what a package or task is doing and how it is doing it, as you'll see in this course. You can cause the behavior or a task to change when problems arise, whether from bad data or missing resources, and you can partition a control flow so that a whole separate set of tasks execute only when certain kinds of events occur. You can pause package execution at predefined breakpoints, conceptually similar to breakpoints in programming tools, but quite different in practice. You cause the package to store information in a checkpoint file about where it failed so that the next time you run the package it doesn't repeat any tasks that completed successfully and you can log many kinds of information about the package as each task executes. In this course, you'll learn about these debugging, error handling, and logging features that can help you diagnose most kinds of problems in your package.